हाय गाइस is moving with a velocity if you can multiply mass times velocity we will get a new quantity so that we call as momentum so momentum is nothing but the product of mass and velocity so momentum as a unit mass is kg velocity meter per second so kg meter per second is the sa unit of momentum and not only that momentum is a vector because velocity is a vector so velocity is having direction so momentum is also having direction so it's a vector so momentum we define as the product of mass times velocity if object is not moving so if the velocity is zero then the object momentum is zero so we already see that the effects of momentum suppose here you can take a truck moving at very low speed can kill a person standing in its path what's the reason if the truck if you can take so it's moving with less speed that's 5 meter per second and it's having huge mass if you take the mass of truck goes to 2000 kg so if you can calculate momentum of truck so momentum of truck we have to product 2000 times 5 so i can get that 10,000 is the momentum it's a huge amount kg meter per second is units so even though the truck is having low speed very low speed but when a person stands when the truck hits the person will dies because it's having more momentum even though it's having less velocity but truck mass is more so therefore the momentum is more so from this point i can say that momentum increases if mass increases okay let's see one more example if you can see a bullet which is fired from a gun so in this case the bullet is having mass let's take mass of bullet very small if you take as 40 grams but when it comes to velocity after firing gun it moves with greater velocity let it take the velocity of 250 meter per second so even though the bullet having small mass but because of the greater velocity its momentum is more so that's the reason the small weight of bullet the small mass the small mass of bullet when fired from gun can kill a person because of not the velocity of the bullet so the impact is just depends upon the mass and the velocity so this is what we learn about momentum now today's class i would like to introduce that change in momentum so if you define change in momentum change so what is the meaning of change suppose if i am having a truck so let us take this is a truck so is initially it is moving with a velocity it's moving with a velocity, initial velocity u. 
now the truck is having mass it's moving with initial velocity you can i can say it is having initial momentum therefore if you can write the initial momentum initial momentum so i can write that p initial what i can get the product of mass into velocity i can multiply that mass times velocity suppose you apply a force force is applied on the truck now in this case the velocity will be changes now it's having a velocity a final velocity or it's changes the velocity if i take the velocity as v now if i can write that after applying force after applying force change in velocity equal to v now in this case if you can write that momentum so if you can take that momentum final so momentum final which equal to mass because mass do not change and velocity here the velocity changed as v now this we can take as final momentum after applying force and this we can take as initial momentum before applying force now if you can subtract i need to calculate change in momentum for the change in momentum change in momentum equal to momentum final minus momentum initial so if you can subtract final momentum mv minus momentum mu so this i can write as change in momentum yeah there is a change in momentum the change in momentum is caused due to because of we applied force so this applied force is caused for change in momentum the person who is applying a force on the car so that's why that causes change in momentum now a part of that change in momentum i would like to talk one more the same concept that is that rate of change of momentum So it's nothing but rate of change of momentum. So rate, rate means in physics always you remember that rate means with respect to time. Rate means with respect to time. so let's see a case to make you understand so i am taking a case at here so now in this case so he is applying a force on the car so this is the direction of the force on the car now let's take the car mass m equal to capital m now initially the car is at rest but if we can take that it's moving with a velocity now if you can take that car mass m and initial velocity as u therefore i can calculate the initial momentum
the initial momentum equal to the product of i can write that p initial which equal to the product of mass and velocity now if you can see he is applying force on the car now the car is accelerating now the car is moving so it is accelerating now in this case if you can take the car mass do not change so i can take that car mass as m itself only so if mass is the car mass capital m and its velocity changes i can take that v is its final velocity now if we can write that final momentum momentum final which is equal to the product of mass and velocity now in this case if we can write that change in momentum change in momentum change in momentum equal to initial velocity so in the initial case if you can take that as initial momentum mv minus final momentum which equal to mu so change in momentum i can write that momentum final minus momentum initial so if you can subtract that to mv minus mu which equal to m of v minus u so that is gives us change in momentum okay now but when you closely observe when you can closely observe the thing again when we closely observe again the whole situation he is applying force on the car and the car is accelerating now the change in momentum the change in momentum is cause due to because of the applied force because of the application of the force so then only the velocity changes and the change in momentum is also depends upon how long he applied force so the force which is applied if we can play that again from here the force he can apply to change the car velocity so let's take that as initially if we can take at here it is the timer is showing at here let me take at here t equal to 1 second t equal to 0 second now if i take the time at here t equal to 0 second now when i can play and he is applying force on the car is applying force on the car and still it is applying so the force is applied on the car so that causes the change in the momentum so if you can take at here the time t equal to 10 seconds it means he applied force he applied force 10 seconds so here the 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 amount of time he applied force on the car that is also we need to consider that we define as the rate of change of momentum so if you can write that that we known as the rate of the rate the rate of change of momentum 
so to write the expression for rate of change of momentum we already know that change in momentum uh, we know that how to write the change in momentum so change in momentum is equal to momentum final minus momentum initial to write the rate of change of momentum we have to divide with respect to time that is mv minus mu upon t so <clears throat> this expression gives the rate of change of momentum so that is a small difference between the change in momentum and rate of change of momentum so if you can write that rate of change of momentum suppose a car mass m a car car mass is equal to m and initial velocity is equal to v and final velocity sorry initial velocity we used to represent as u and final velocity v and applied force a force is applied on the car which equal to f <clears throat> at a time at a time duration which equal to t now from this above if you can write that change in momentum therefore change in momentum is equal to final momentum minus initial momentum so that is the expression for change in momentum but we need to write that rate of change of momentum if we can write the expression for rate of change of momentum the rate of change of momentum so how we can write so we will write the change in momentum momentum change mv minus mu upon we need to divide by the time so this is the expression for rate of change of momentum so to calculate the rate of change of momentum so we need to write the expression in the following manner so that is the difference between the momentum sorry change in momentum and rate of change of momentum so keep it mind whenever we are dealing rate in physics so that tells about time we need to divide that so we need to consider that in terms of time by using this concept so we can derive the newton's second law of motion so to understand the newton's second law of motion the rate of change of momentum concept is very 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 important <coughs>